this is the rock wall of, well, rock wall. We've lived in Texas for about three years now, and pretty much every other weekend, we go and visit different towns in the area to check out the local flavors, the good eats. Now, let me be honest, pretty much the only reason why we visit any of the towns is because we hear there's really good food, and I'm a fat boy deep down inside, and I gotta eat. And my family love to go on little road trips together, so why not? This week, we're in Rockwall, Texas, and we are visiting a famous local attraction called the Rock Wall of Rockwall, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a rock wall in Rockwall. But first, we need to make a very special lunch stop at Wells Cattle Company Burgers and Pies. Why, you ask? Well, you're about to find out. Are you kidding me? Look at the hot dog. Hello, 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 Mr. Lee. Yeah. Kevin. Nice to meet you. Nice sir. to meet you finally. <laughs> I'm Lee Wells and I own Wells Cattle Company Burgers and Pies in Rockwall, Texas. So we're a cattle company first, meaning that we buy and sell cattle on a regular basis. And then we also source ourselves at the restaurant. And so last year we did almost 35,000 pounds of ground beef in our restaurant. If you do it by the burger, a third pound burger, that's almost 100,000 burgers in a year. Now some of that beef we sell directly frozen as well out of our freezer, but the majority of that was hamburgers. What makes our burgers so special is our beef. It comes from our ranch, it's our cattle, and then we actually grind the whole side of beef together, the steaks, roast, brisket, all of that goes into our grind so we don't pull any of the prime cuts out, it's all in. What makes your restaurant so special? I think the people that own it and run it. We got uh, Kayla, Kayla's one of my kitchen managers. My mom runs the register, my aunt. We've just got a lot of family involved. And then those who work for us, they have to act like family as well to be able to really fit in and, and, uh, and be in that culture. So we just try to take care of people first, quality first, and then we worry about everything else after that. Was that the best hot dog ever? Are we coming back? Miles, is that the best burger ever? You sure? Needless to say, the food was amazing and we're definitely coming back. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Today we're at Lee's Cattle Ranch in Greenville, Texas. And the reason why I'm here is because we're updating his podcast studio. Now he converted his media room into a podcast space where he's able to host guests and do a live podcast production. It's a really good setup. He's done a great job doing this by himself already. He does have a background in broadcast, so he knows how to set one of these up. But he ordered a couple of Panasonic S5s and he's not very familiar with these camera systems and I definitely am. Being that I already have a couple of these Panasonic S5s laying around with the settings already dialed in, it would only take a matter of a minute or two to just copy my settings over to his cameras and get him up and running. Nice little podcast setup. It's gonna be better today. Oh yeah. You're gonna do some damage. I like it. So walk me through your studio setup. We went with Rode uh, just because, well, they're, they're a good name, they're a good brand. The Rodecaster 2 Pro 2. The reason for that is all the presets are built in for these mics. And so you don't have to be a audio guy and understand gates and compressors and all of that. All I really did when I set this up is I changed the phase on one to the other so that they're not always picking up exactly the same and that's the only setting I really made. I had played with some of the settings I went back to the defaults for these mics just because they're so good. They dialed them in so well at the factory. I also like the Rodecaster um, Pro 2 because it'll record everything if you're doing an audio only. It, everything you need is right there in that box. What I did for my audio and video combining is I went with the Black Magic A10 Mini, yeah, Pro, and so we can do switching live here. We've got a a multi view as well that shows what we're what we're doing and kind of gives you a reference point as to what you're seeing on each camera and then what's going out live. And then on this machine, it has the ability to record 
straight on to a, another device. So this is pretty much it. We've got the audio coming over. We've got the video coming in from two cameras and it all gets switched and mixed right here. So Love it. Let's talk about the aesthetics. You got the acoustic panels, you have black walls, you have this big TV here. Yeah. Like what was the inspiration for this look? Um, the, the, the main thing we wanted to do was we did want to dampen some sound and we wanted to make the sound um, quieter and richer. And so the panels, I went with two different styles of panels for the look, for the aesthetic. We, we ran some up lights here uh, just to give a little color shift and uh, just a little bit of highlight on the back, some shadow work. We did that on purpose. I can change these colors out. They're RGB. They can be uh, set higher, lower. Uh, they're, and, and these just came off of Amazon. They're not expensive lights. I think these are, they come in two packs or four packs. And then of course, right now the way we're set up is we're running our, our, main, our main lights off, off the ceiling and uh, giving us a soft light down. We'll see if that stays today or not. I'm, I'm open to either one. But then this is, we're just bouncing it off that white ceiling to keep on, to keep the hot spots away. And then if you'll turn down the overheads, uh, we run these just for headlight, shoulder, backlighting. When you're sitting underneath these lights, they catch your head. And then we just adjust those in to where we can see it on the hair and the shoulder a little bit. So clearly you know what you're doing. But I don't know anything about the DLS, DLSR. Uh, I don't know anything about these cameras. And so that's why I'm not too proud to ask for help. <laughs> well, you got the help today for sure. I need it. <laughs> Let's do it. Today what we did was we set up Lee's podcast studio space with dual Panasonic S5 Mark Ones. We dialed in the camera settings. We dialed in the white balance so that they get proper skin tones. You got to have good skin tones. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> Also, we adjusted all the lights so that they get proper exposure and composition, and then made sure that even though we have a kicker light, a hair light on him, it's not overexposed and shows how old he really is. So this right here is the Seikonic C800U. I don't know how to use this thing other than for just getting the proper ambient light color temperature and that's about it. I know it has a bunch of other features. I just don't know how to use them. So I spent, I don't know, $1,800 just to know what the color temperature is of the room. But it, it works out because all the cameras look really good. If you want to use it, just call me and I'll fly out and <laughs> set your color temperature for you. My podcast is The Ranch and Table. And it is a business podcast with uh, an emphasis on uh, discussing small business matters with local business owners, or just various folks that are involved with working with small businesses on a day-to-day -day basis. And so we talk about how to do things well, how to succeed, what pitfalls to watch out for. Um, and then every other episode I do a monologue and I talk about a business principle that I use and uh, actively pursue and try to help folks understand a better way of doing business. The one business principle that I apply every day is I never want to be money centric. I always want to look at my customers first, their needs, make sure that they get the quality that they deserve at the value that they're willing to pay and, uh, and are happy to pay for the services that we give. And so I've learned that if I can do that and keep that order, then the money takes care of itself. If I look at people as money, it, we go downhill from there. What did you learn from today? I relearned, if that's a word, that people who are very good at their job are worth every dime that they charge. Good people are good people because they help other people and they care about people other than themselves. And I really do appreciate folks that know what they're doing and are willing to help other people do better at what they're trying to do. Is this guy for real? <laughs> he is. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of weeks later, Lee realized that it was time to do some minor upgrades. So he went from the A10 Mini 
Pro ISO, the four input version to the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, which is my favorite switcher of all the switchers. I have one myself and every setup I've ever done since then has been the Extreme ISO just because it has more IO ports. It has two USB-C ports, two HDMI ports, and it has eight inputs. So it just gives you more bandwidth to do more stuff. Now it's not for everybody. It definitely is a little bit more expensive. Actually, let's be honest, it's a, it's a lot more expensive. The ATEM Mini Pro ISO, I believe comes in at 495 or 895, whereas the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO goes for 1295, upwards of 1495. It's got a lot of firepower and it's great for pretty much everything. Now in the coming weeks, I'm going to be sharing this little dandy right here. This is the Obsbot Tail Air 4K PTZ camera. I've been playing with this for about three or four days now, and I'm really impressed with this camera. I can't say enough about it, but I'm gonna save that for the next video. I don't often get to do vlogs very often, but I've been really enjoying that whole experience. So I think I'm gonna be doing more of those. What do you think? Also, if you're an aspiring content creator or YouTuber and you would love that extra little bit of help, make sure to join the YouTubers United Facebook group where there's a bunch of us who are working together, who are sharing ideas and encouraging each other and growing together. And there are great conversations to be had. I guarantee you'll get something out of it. It's totally free to join and anybody is welcome as long as you're a legit user. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, I'm Kevin Lee.